So let's give a warm welcome to Pastor Nestor A. Marcaida. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Are you all excited? Those who are excited, kindly of raise your hands, please, together with me. Yes, you are in love with Jesus, right? Thank God for this great opportunity that the Lord has given to me through Pastor Rich. This is my third time here. Am I right? So it's an honor to minister to this great and great church. Hallelujah. Would you please stand with me? So for the next, for the next 35 minutes, I need your attention, please. Because there's only one word that is able to change us. That's the word of God. I remember before I got born again, I was an activist during the time. I was the one who made the big rallies in Metro Manila before the year 1981. So you don't know my age, no? <laughs> so thank God because of God's word through a lady, a lawyer. She shared to me about the word of God, the power of God's word. Kung ano po ako mayroon niya yun, it's because of God's word by the grace of God. Would you please join with me to open up your Bible and, and the monitor. Okay. 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 Hebrew chapter 9. I'm looking for a monitor in front of me. <laughs> okay. Hebrew chapter 9, verse 22. Would you please join with me? Would you please join with me? So for, for, for 35 minutes, I need your attention, please. Are you with me this morning? So after this, I'm going to, to speak again in the two, uh, 2 o'clock service, right? So thank God for this great opportunity. Hebrew chapter 9, verse 22. I think it's page 1005 in my Bible. How about your Bible? So, 3,003. Nagapatawa po ako. In fact, according to the law of Moses, nearly everything was purified with blood. For without, take note, for without the shedding of the blood, there is no forgiveness. Let's pray together. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for this time that you have given to us, do as you please in this great congregation, in this great church, O Father God, in the Philippines, especially in this place. Bless us as your word proclaim, because we understand that only your word can be able to transform, to change your people, O Father God. We are hunger for you this morning, so bless us today. In Jesus' name, everybody say aloud. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's all be seated in the presence of God. So this is a tagli service, I understand. So I'm entitled, so to speak, to speak in our own language. Now, this week we're going to celebrate the Holy Week, right? We're going, to, we're going to have a recollection about all the things that the Lord has done on the cross. Thank God we have this kind of time to celebrate all the things that the Lord has done on the cross. Unlike in other countries like Dubai, I stay there for almost six years, come in Labas Pasok, come and go in that place. So as we compare in our country, as we celebrate this Holy Week, we celebrate this with all the respect and everything. Now, from that idea, let me share with you this morning about the topic, the importance of Jesus' blood on the cross. Everybody say Jesus' blood on the cross. Now, it's very important for us to understand. We can celebrate this Holy Week, this week, about all the things that the Lord has done on the cross without proper understanding, without knowing the significant about the, the blood of Jesus on the cross. So this time, allow me to show with you just two things. Number one, the importance of blood in my life, your life, in our lives. What's the importance of this blood that we're talking about? And second, that I'm going to discuss with you, 
how does this blood is doing in our life? Kumbaga, anong ginagawa ng dugo na ito, dugo ni Jesus, sa buhay po natin? So are you with me? Are you with me? So I need communication. Before we're going to live in this place, we will have a full knowledge what does blood all about on the cross. Anong, anong ginagawa ng, ng blood ni Jesus nung siya nasa cross of Calvary? Now, to start with, the importance of this blood, number one, look at Leviticus chapter 17, verses 10 to 14. Are you with me? So you can, you can use your monitor. And Leviticus chapter 10, oh, chapter 17, verse 10, especially in verse 14. Okay? Especially in verse 14. The life of every creature is in the blood. Now take note. The life of every creature is in the blood. So, meaning this life that I have connects to blood. If there's no blood, that's tantamount that we don't have life, right? So, the life that we have connects to blood. That's why the doctor says, the blood cleanses the cells of our body. So, that's very important. The blood picks up the solid waste of the cells and carry it for elimination from the body. Now, so the blood connects to our life. As I've said, if there's no blood, there's no life. It connects. Now, anong connection nito? Yung dugo na pag-uusapan natin, ano pong connection sa blood ni Jesus? Kung ang sinasabi po natin, the life of every creature is in the blood, how does it connect the blood of Jesus unto this life that we have? That's very important. So in our point number two, I'm going to discuss that. That's very important. Hallelujah. Are you with me? But let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. In Acts chapter 5, look at, at Acts chapter 5. In Acts chapter 5, are you with me? Are you with me? In Acts chapter 5, allow me to read, we gave you strict orders Never again to teach in this man's name, he said. Instead, you have filled all Jerusalem with your teaching and are determined to make us guilty of this man's blood. Guilty of this man's blood. Matthew 27 verse 4. I have betrayed, Judah said, I have betrayed the innocent blood. Even Judas understood the importance of blood. And he said, I have, I have betrayed the innocent blood, meaning the blood of Jesus. He understood. How about you? Alam ba natin ang kalagahan ng dugo ni Jesus na kung saan grabbing blood na dumanak sa cross of Calvary? Mamaya makikita po natin ang kalagahan po nito. So are you with me? So now... Let's go to point number two. So I, I, I shared to you in a short minute about the importance of the blood. Now, how does it connect to the blood of Jesus? I'm, I'm going to skip on this because uh, I have only 35 minutes to preach with you. Okay, we will proceed to point number two. Nagko-communicate po ba ako sa inyo? Now, this is very important. Now, how does the blood do in our life. Now, this is very important to me. It surprises me. You know the story of Cain and Abel? Do you know the story? Because of uh, religious uh, 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 jealousy. Because of religious jealousy, meron pong jealousy nangyari during the time sa mga kapatid na si Cain sa si Abel to make the long story short, pinatay ni ni Cain si Abel. Because of jealousy. Look at the person next to you and say, because of jealousy. Look at the person next to you and say, because of jealousy. Now listen to Jealousy kills. Jealousy kills. Pumapatay po ang jealousy. Look at the person next to you and say, don't be at jealous on me. 
Because it kills. There was a jealousy during that time. Now, according to the word of God, if we're going to jump in Genesis chapter 4, verse, verse 10, listen, your brother's blood cries out to me. Your, your brother's blood cries out to me. So in short, when we talk about the blood, the blood what? Start with letter S. It what? Huh? So the word the blood the blood cries out for me. What do you mean by that? The blood. The blood what? Oh come on, I need. That's a problem. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the blood speaks. Look at the Bible. The blood speaks. Your brother's blood cries out to me. Because there's life. In blood, there's life. That's why nakasalita po, di po ba? Patay lang ang nakasalita. Di ba? Patay lang ang nakasalita. So yung dugo po, there's life. So nakasalita siya. So the blood speaks. Hallelujah. So now, since the blood speaks, brothers and sisters, glory in glory to God, what is the difference between the blood of Abel and the blood of Jesus. Let's connect on this. Hallelujah. Okay. What is the difference? Now, look at your Bible right now. In Hebrew chapter 12, verse 24. Are you with me? In Hebrew chapter 12, verse 24, you have come to Jesus the one who, may, who mediates the new covenant between God and the people. And to the sprinkling blood, everybody say blood, which speaks of forgiveness, which speaks of forgiveness instead of crying out for vengeance like the blood of Abel. So the blood of Abel cries out for vengeance. Gusto ko maghiganti. Pinatay siya eh. Di ba? So the, when we talk about the blood of Abel, it cries out for vengeance. It cries out for curse. But the Bible says, you have come to Jesus, the one who mediates the new covenant between God and people, and to the sprinkling blood which speaks of forgiveness. The blood of Jesus speaks of forgiveness while the blood of Abel speaks for what? Cries out for what? Vengeance. Cry out for curse. Now, you have to make a decision right now. Which blood do you want? Do you want the blood of Abel? Pag meron kang dugo ni Abel, kasabihin mo, di ko siya pinapatawad. Hello. Pag mayroon kang dugo ni Abel, sasabihin mo, sinusumpa ko siya. Are you familiar with that word? Na maraming taong sinusumpa ka? See, if you have the blood of Abel, it cries out for vengeance. It's, it's, it cries out for curse. But the blood of Jesus cries out for forgiveness. The blood of Jesus cries out for your assurance of your salvation. The blood of Jesus cries out for love. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus cries out for power. Hallelujah. So you have to make a decision right now in this time of Holy Week. Which blood? Kaninong dugo ang aking pagninilay-nilayan? Are you going to meditate the blood of Abel? Towards your enemy in front of your house? You are so silent. Tahimik po ang VCA. Are you going to apply the blood of Abel towards your office mate? Sa ka-office mate mo na galit na galit ka? Inis na inis ka? You have to make a decision. But you are a Christians. 
we should apply the very blood of Jesus. For without the shedding of the blood of Jesus, there is no forgiveness of sin. If I were you, I'm going to choose the blood of Jesus because you're a Christian. I have all the reasons, marami po akong dahilan para makigante sa mga taong sinaktan yung puso ko. Aba, ang drama. Nakapatawa po ako, hindi ko natawa. I have all the reasons to fight back. But thank God for the blood of Jesus on the cross. That blood saves me. That blood gives me an assurance of salvation. That blood, that blood gives me the power of love. Hallelujah. To love the unlovable. Mahalin kahit di siya minamahal. Sabi mo siyang katabi, minamahal na kita ngayon. Hallelujah. So it's our decision right now, brothers and sisters. Sometimes, ang dugo na dumadaan sa'yo. Sa Tagalog, ano yun? Nananalaytay? Nananalaytay sa'yo. Dugo ni Abel. Pero Christian ka. Para tinang Sunday service, Majesty, you're worshiping the Lord. Worship is majesty. Pero iniisip mo yung kaaway mo. Unto Jesus be the glory, power, and praise. Nakakainis yung kapitbahay ko. Majesty, hindi na sa ng utang. Worship is majesty. Naiinis talaga ako eh. Are you with me? Are you with me? Thank God. You are a Christian. I am a Christian. And we are all Christians. Why don't we clap our hands to God? So you have to make a decision in this time of Holy Week to remember the goodness of God on the cross of Calvary. We have to make a decision which blood you are going to allow from the top of your head going down to your every part of your body. Which blood Let's allow the blood of Jesus who saves us. Not the blood of Abel. Palapangan po natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. So I repeat, the Abel's blood cries out for vengeance. Paghihiganti. Gusto ko maghiganti. Sinusumpa ko siya. That's, that's, that's the cry of Abel's blood. But Jesus' blood, thank God for this. Hallelujah. Speaks of blessings. Speaks of hope. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Speaks of assurance. Even speaks of forgiveness. Name it, everything. Thank God for the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Why don't we clap our hands to God? Hallelujah. Salamat sa dugo ng ating Panginoon. Hallelujah. And this is the good news, my dear brothers and sisters. This is the good news. I have only 15 minutes for 35 minutes. This is the good news. The blood that I'm talking right now, the blood that I'm talking right now is available until today. Available right this moment. Right this moment. I understand some of you have hurts in the past. Marami po tayong nakaraan na pangit. Sinaktang ka. May nangyayari sa buhay mo hindi maganda. Kumisan sumisigaw ka na, ipaglalabang ko to. Pag nasa lubong ko to, nako, pardon po the words, yari isa sa akin. Pag nasa lubong ko, galit na galit ka. Talagang blood ni Abel ang dumadaloy sa'yo. Kung meron kang nakaraan sa iyong buhay, you are in the right place right now, in the right time, with the right word coming from God, God is able to cleanse you, even to remove you from your past failure experience in your life. This is the good news, brothers and sisters. This is the good news. King Maganda sa Diyos, He will never use your past to define your future. Yan ang magandang balita. 
Hindi niya gagamitin yung nakaraan mo para sabihin ito magiging buhay mo. Kung anong decision mo ngayon na narinig mong salita ng Diyos, yun ang gagamitin ng Diyos para ito maging kinabukasan mo. Thank God for that. He will never use your past. We have, we have bad experience in the past. Hurts and everything. But thank God, whatever is our decision today, that's the decision that He will use to define your future. Palagpakan po natin ang ating Panginoon. Hallelujah. So that's the blood of Jesus. Now, let's go deeper. There are two places where the blood of Jesus shed. And what's the message? Hallelujah. Let's see the two places where the blood of Jesus shed. Are you with me? Are you with me? Now, look at your Bible right now in Luke chapter 22, verses 39 to 45. I'm reading from the, from the NLT. Then accompanied by his, by the disciples, Jesus left the upstairs room and went as usual to the Mount of Olives. There he told them, pray, listen, pray that you will not give in to temptation. Pray that you may not enter into temptation according to New International Version Bible. He walked away about a stone throw and knelt down and prayed. And verse 42, Father, if you are willing, please take this cup of suffering away from me. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. Then an angel from heaven appeared and strengthened him. In verse 44, he prayed more fervently, and he was in such agony of spirit that his sweat fell to the ground like great drops of blood. Everybody say blood. At last he stood up again and returned to the disciples only to find them asleep, exhausted from grief. This was the great temptation of Jesus when he was in the garden of Gethsemane. Marami pong dugo na lumabas po doon. The Bible says, fell to the ground like a great drops of blood. What do you mean by this? What's the message of this? As I've said a while ago, this was the great temptation of Jesus. That He overcame. He overcame through His blood. Through His blood. So, what do you mean by this? Meaning to say, all the temptation that you have, that I have, that we have, we can overcome because first and foremost, the Lord overcame that in the Garden of Gethsemane. Name all the temptation that you have right now, my dear brothers and sisters. Sabihin mo sa akin kung mga tukso, layuan mo ako. Tukso, layuan mo ako. Tukso, layuan mo ako. Ano yung mga tukso na dumarating sa buhay po natin? I tell you, pinagtagumpay na ng Panginoon through His blood in the Garden of Gethsemane. Meaning, you can overcome. We can overcome any temptation, any tukso, layuan mo ako. You can overcome. Look at the person next to you and say, you can overcome any temptation that you have in your life. Look at the person next to you, please. Sabihin mo sa kanya, you can do that. Say loud, amen. When I was in Abu Dhabi, with a great conference about family, I was one of the speakers. Meron po mga asawa na lumapit sa akin. In front, in front of, her, of her husband, sabi niya, Pastor Ness, anong masabi mo? Itong asawa ko, na ikipag F, uh, BFF, na ikipag BFF pa rin sa kanyang ex. At kuminsan, katext niya pa rin. What can you say about this, Pastor Ness? Anong masabi mo sa asawa ko? Almost bagong kasalang po sila. Isa ko sa mga ninong. Sabi niya, meron siyang BFF, yung dati niyang girlfriend. Tapos, katext niya minsan. What can you say? Ang sabi ko, what's the purpose? Anong dahilan kung bakit gusto mo ba siya maging BFF? Gusto mo text? Anong, anong dahilan? Tumawa lang sa akin. Sabi ko sa kanya, pag tinagpatuloy mo yun, temptation yun. Tukso yun. What's the use? You're married already. Why you're still communicating with your BFF? X. <laughs> You know what I mean? 
Ito pong gusto kong sabihin sa inyo, huwag niyong pagbibigyan si Satan na kahit na ganito lang ang sukat na makapasok sa puso mo. Don't allow the enemy even an inch to enter into your heart. That's temptation. You can overcome that through the blood of Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane. Any temptation that you have, we can overcome because of Jesus within us. Kasama mo si Lord, kasama natin si Lord, so we can overcome any problems, temptation that you have. Thank God for His blood. Bakit hindi natin palakpakan po ang ating Panginoon? Hallelujah. Glory to God for that. Glory to God. And glory to God for that. Next, places were in His blood on the cross. In Matthew chapter 27, you know the story. When He was on the cross, tell me how many liters of blood comes out from His body. Gaano po karaming dugo ang nawala sa Kanya? Alam niyo ba yung isang litro na soft drinks? Alam niyo isang litro? Gano'n kalaki? Gano'n po ba yung gano'n? No? Isang litro. According to Bible scholars, two to three liters of blood ang nawala sa kanya. Kung ang, ang dugo nagsasalita, anong ibig sabihin? Anong mensahe sa atin? Kung ang mensahe doon sa Garden of Gethsemane, you can overcome the temptation. Hallelujah. In good news for that, you can overcome temptation. Anong mensahe when he was on the cross? Imagine, two to three liters of blood comes out from his body. Hindi lang po basta nangyari yun, now listen carefully, hindi lang po basta nangyari yung nasa cross siya, pumayag siya. Di ba sabi niya, hanggat maaari, alisin mo to. Di ba? Sabi niya, hanggat maaari, remove this cup from me, but not my will, but let your will be done. Yan ang sabi niya. Now, what's the use of the two to, two to three liters of blood? Hindi lang po basta, op, may dugong dumanak sa kanya, may mensahe po yun. Kung ang dugo na kasalita, may mensahe. Hello? May mensahe. And what was the message of the two to three liters of blood? Okay, look at me. Pag halimbawa lang po, hiniwa ko to, mayroong dugo, di po ba? Hiniwa ko to, mayroong dugo, di po ba? Huwag niyong gagawin, hiniwa mo to, <laughs> Wag mo gagawin. <laughs> Wag mo gagawin. Okay. May dugong lalabas. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Sino po may karamdaman dito? Sino merong sakit? Ang pangalawang mensahe, when He was on the cross, the Bible says, by the stripes of Jesus. Sa mga latay ni Jesus na merong dugong lumabas. Sa mga latay ni Jesus na merong dugong lumabas. Huwag mo kung gagawin yun, ah. Okay? Sa mga latay ni Jesus sa kanyang katawan na mayroong dugong lobas, by the stripes of Jesus, you, me, every one of us, pinagaling ng ating Panginoon. Palagpagan po natin, Panginoon, dyan. Hallelujah! That was the message. Hallelujah! Meron po akong membro sa church na kapitan sa ng barko na diagnose siya na mayroong cancer. Halos lahat ng kasama niya sa hospital, patay na. Patay na. Siya na lang. Siya na lang. Almost every day, I kept on praying for him. Visited in the house, even the hospital. We kept on praying. The church kept on praying for him. By the grace of God, after one year, babalik na po siya next week as kapitan ng barko. Pinagaling siya ng Panginoon. Pinagaling siya ng Panginoon. Kung mayroon kang nararamdaman, ikaw na susunod sa umagang ito. Nandito ka na mayroon dahilan. Hindi lang just to, for the sake to attend, not only for show up, hello, nandito ka na mayroong, let's pray for personal encounter with the Lord. Let's pray for the touch of God this morning. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. We can consider this day a fresh beginning. A new beginning of your life. Hallelujah. Forgiven, cleansed by the blood of Jesus, transformed and changed by the blood of Jesus. This is your fresh beginning again. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
Glory to God and glory to God. Last na lang po, hindi ko babasahin. Okay? Hindi ko babasahin. I just want to give you a story. Nangyari po sa ibang bansa to na anak ng pastor. Yung anak ng pastor, nagkaroon po siyang girlfriend at mga pangasawa niya na, nabasa ko sa Facebook ito, at dati yung babae, ang ginamit na word na involved sa drugs, prostitution, and everything. Nabasa niya sa Facebook yun. Yung babae na involved sa drugs, prostitution, and everything. Pero, binago ng Diyos. Actually, ang pakasabi, naging Sunday school, Sunday school teacher ng church. To make the long story short, itong, itong pastor na to, anak ng pastor, while he was praying for the perfect woman, for him. Sa madaling salita, itong babae po na ito, ang sinabi ng Diyos, siya ang mga pangasawa mo. Nalaman po ng buong congregation, nalaman, at divided yung opinion ng kongregasyon. Bakit siya, anak ng pastor, bakit siya? Dati siyang alcoholic, dati siyang drug addict, dati siyang prostitution. Nahati opinion ng kongregasyon. Pag-uusap-usapan, talk of the town. Kasi maraming mga kristyano po ngayon, kapag pinag-uusapan yung pangit, pero yung maganda, pinag-uusapan. Pero wala sa BCA yan, ano? Wala sa BCA yan, di ba? Baka na sa iba yun. Hindi, joke lang. Joke lang. Sa so, to make the story short, talagang naguluan po yung congregation. So nagpray po yung anak ng Pastor Lord, would you please help me how to explain this? That ikaw, Panginoon, nagbigay sa babaeng ito, sa puso ko, talagang in love na ilabaw sa kanya. Lord, One year from now, papakasalan ko na siya. Dating uh, drug addict, dating prostitute po siya. So, ang sabi ng, sabi ng kongregasyon, bakit siya pa? Ang dami naman. Sabi ng isang babae, bakit hindi ako? Hindi, joke lang. <laughs> joke lang. Okay. So, in short, tumayo po siya. Nung tumayo po siya, sabi niya, simple lang, are you questioning about the blood of Jesus? cleansing to this lady? You know what I mean? Kino-question nyo ba yung dugo ni Jesus na nagbago sa kanya? Kino-question nyo ba yung dugo ni Jesus na binago siya? Very strong sermon. Tinuro niya. Pagkatapos po nun, nagkaroon silang isang opinion. That you cannot question the blood of Jesus. Once you are forgiven, you are forgiven. All the things that you have experienced in the past, you are forgiven. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Natuloy po yung kasalan at masaya ang kongregasyon. Kuminsan, ang galing po natin, maaari may kilala ka, matagal nang binago ni Lord eh. Pero binabalik mo sa kanya yung buhay niya noon. Ang galing mo. Wow. Ang galing mo. Diba? Pero once you became a Christian, once you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, once you have received the blood of Jesus, you are totally cleansed from your past. From your past. You are a brand new and a brand new and a brand new Christian. Would you please rise up?